Hi, everyone, and welcome into another Wildcat Weekly Coaches Report here on the Linfield Sports Network. Joe Stewart with you, and with me, as always, is head men's basketball coach Shannon Rosenberg. How are you doing today, Coach? Good, Joe. Great to be here. Well, it should be great after uh, another couple of awesome wins this last weekend as the Tacoma Schools came down, and you guys were able to take care of business against PLU and Puget Sound. And those two wins gave you uh, the clinching bid for the Northwest Conference Tournament this season, making it your fourth consecutive year now making the conference tournament, the first time that's happened in program history. What has it been like for you realizing that you've been able to get this program to such a level of top consistency? Well, I think that's the goal of any program is to be in the hunt for championships year in, year out. And, you know, it says to me primarily that we've we've been able to recruit great players and develop them. And, um, you know, they've really believed in what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we've been fortunate to have some continuity and consistency in our classes in particular in the last five years. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've had great assistance uh, helping me out and um, it's paid off. Definitely. Well, let's take a look at that UPS win. The threes were going in at an incredible rate for you guys that night. A season high 18 made from behind the arc, and you guys shot 52.9%. What do you think it was in that game that really allowed the offense to pop on such a ridiculous level and get everybody in such a strong rhythm? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's just one of those nights that we just had it going. I mean, you know, they UPS played some zone that left us maybe a little more open than they, they would have liked. Um, you know, and there were some of those things maybe that they, they helped us with. Uh, but we also, I thought, just played extraordinarily well. Yeah. And I think the guys knew it wasn't going to be an easy game. You know, coming in, they had just played both the wits real close. And um, and they're a tough team. They're, they're a talented team and um, very capable. And we knew last weekend it was going to be a huge weekend for us. And I was real proud of the way our guys stepped up. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're <clears throat> mostly back to a full roster at this point after a couple weeks of being a little bit banged up. But in that time, we see lots of guys step up. One of those guys is Max Lohman, who mm -hmm. has been playing out of his mind. He has been one of the most efficient players in the conference, now leading the Northwest Conference in field goal percentage. And on nights when he hasn't really been taking that many shots, he's been helping out with his rebounding and his playmaking as well. What has uh, it been like to see his development and how have you been impressed with the way he stepped up? Super proud of Max. I mean, you know, he's a third-year guy, and I think most guys, I tell our, our, all of our players, you know, most guys really don't, the game doesn't really slow down for them, and they mm -hmm. come into their own until their third year on, on average. Um, but, you know, even from the beginning of this year, Max has improved a lot. And just him learning about when when to stop, you know, and to kind of know when to hold him, when to fold him sure. offensively, how to keep the ball tighter to his body, um, and just making better decisions allowing the team play to produce his opportunities mm -hmm. has probably been the biggest thing for him instead of feeling like when the ball hits his hands he has to do it on his own and he has the ability to do some things on his own and guys with that ability tend to fall in love with thinking they can beat everyone right but as he's really uh, i think embraced um what our team's doing it's look what it's done for him totally you know and i think and he's been as a result has gotten you know, more minutes and, and played a great role for our team. And I, I couldn't be happier for him. Looking ahead to uh, the, these, this upcoming weekend, it's at Willamette on Friday night and then at Lewis and Clark on Saturday night. When you guys uh, met up with these two teams earlier in the season, <clears throat> Lewis and Clark held you guys to just 70 points. And you, I believe you only hit two three-pointers in that game. Uh, but the next night, things totally popped off against Willamette. And since then, the offense has been on an absolute tear. You guys have only scored less than 90 points twice. Uh, since that last weekend, do you think that weekend was some sort of turning point for the season for your team? You know, I don't. I don't know. It, it may have been. I think you know, Lewis and Clark pre presents a unique set of challenges, and I think their game plan was definitely to get up in us and run us off the line and, and that type of stuff. And so we were. We had more opportunities going going to the rim, and um, you know, I think anytime. Uh, you know, you look back in that, that analysis, it's, it's tough to decide what the kind of trigger sure. was. But, uh, you know, that was a challenging game. And all, all games like that, I think, are wake-up calls and learning moments. Um, you know, as was Willamette, really. We got up big and uh, kind of let them back in. And, I, you know, we played a lot of depth that game. And mm -hmm. we're fortunate to be able to do that. But I was hoping we could uh, maybe perform a little better and um, – you know, I think we probably we try to learn something from every game, truthfully. 
Um, but, you know, we know we're going to have our hands full again on the road. No road games are easy in this conference. And, uh, you know, we definitely have our mindset just on this weekend and, and uh, you know, really want to stay attached to that and, and really respect the challenge ahead. Definitely. Uh, well, looking at that Lewis and Clark game, that's sure to be a really good game. That is a team that is fighting for their playoff lives right now and playing their best stretch of basketball of the season, obviously, with the massive upset against Whitman last Saturday. Uh, what do you have to do to come out and be able to match their level of confidence and energy that they're sure to be bringing that night? Well, I think we have that, too. I mean, I think we're playing our best basketball right now. I really believe that. Um, I, I don't think there's any question about it. We're playing very, very well, and um, it's not that we can't improve, but you know, most of us, most of our focus has to be on us. And you're right, Lewis and Clark's red hot and uh, playing extremely well. I've seen that both games they played this last week weekend and uh, a few times, and um, they're a tough matchup. And they're, you know, they're they're a younger team with a lot of talented guys, and a lot of times those younger teams with talented guys. It just takes time for them to figure it out. I think they're starting to hit stride. Certainly Zeke's playing the best, uh, you know, I think he's played in his career and um, a lot like a lot of seniors that stay the course. Yeah. And, you know, he's playing phenomenal and um, he's a terrific kid too. And um, I know his high school coach real well and, and recruited him. But, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be a tough matchup for us. And, um, you know, and, 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 you know, but we know how it is this time of year. Yeah. I mean, there's you're, you're going to get everyone's best shot, especially teams like P I thought PLU gave us a heck of a game True. and played terrific. I, I would argue that they, you know, may have outplayed us for half the game or so, and and uh, and I that's not a surprise. I mean, they're a good team, and um, I think teams that get a little momentum this time of year, and certainly that Whitman game is a big shot in the arm for them, and yeah. having any time you have a chance to get in the postseason, it keeps motivation high. Absolutely. Well, again, the Wildcats have two on the road this weekend. We'll have live audio coverage on the LSN while the Cats are in Salem on Friday night and Portland on Saturday to take on the Bearcats and the Pioneers. Coach, good luck this weekend and thanks for the time. Thanks, Joe. Glad to be here.